The election for Washington's governor on November 2, 2004 wasn't over on election night. It wouldn't truly be over for more than seven months. Both Republican Dino Rossi and Democrat Christine Gregoire did at different times claim title as governor-elect. We we're making history. As the results of the counts and recounts shifted. I, Christine Gregoire. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Gregoire was sworn in on January 12, 2005. Even as many tickets to the inaugural ball had already been sold to supporters of Rossi. And it wouldn't be until early June that it was certain that Christine Gregoire could remain in office. Nothing I can do, I'm waiting, I'm still governing. And I think that what we have to remember, if we start with the rule that every vote should count, then we do what is necessary to count every vote. Jenny Durkin, yes, the current mayor of Seattle, was back then the lawyer for the Gregoire campaign. Just the votes they looked at today showed an additional 30 votes for Christine Gregoire. When it was all over, each candidate ended up with 48.87% of the vote. It was the third decimal place, a mere 129 votes, that made the difference as officially recorded by the Secretary of State. Number one, only the good Lord himself knows who won that election. It was such an, a mess. Chris Vance was chair of the Washington Republican Party in those days. It's just unbelievable. Uh, I'm not sure there's a word in the English language strong enough for this. Fiasco, uh, circus, joke. What happened in Washington then appears to be what's happening in battleground states like Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and others now in an important sense. Washington's elections were in transition, moving to vote by mail. Yes, you could still go to the polls, but a large percentage of voters were voting by mail absentee. How often are things really this close? You know, I, I remember when uh, that, when the uh, Gregor um, uh, and Rossi recount was happening, I actually looked it up at the time because I was curious about that very question. And my recollection is extremely rarely. Mark Smith studies American politics at the University of Washington. Yet still fresh in many minds was the presidential race just four years earlier, Bush v. Gore. It came down to Florida and the counting of those hanging shads. That race decided by just 537 votes. Election night showed no one ahead, as like in other states, those absentee ballots only had to be received by election day, not counted. The initial results came five days later. Rossi was ahead by 261 votes. Making history isn't easy, <laughs> and surely, it certainly isn't timely either. But 261 was yeah. not enough to prevent an automatic recount. Secretary of State Sam Reed. Though a 261 vote lead is, is fairly substantial, but it was within the realm of possibility that it could change. By November 24th, Rossi was still ahead, but his lead dropped to just 42 votes. Rossi was certified the winner, but not before the Democrats demanded and paid nearly three quarters of a million dollars for a manual recount. There was controversy. What is and is not a vote? That was a key issue in our case and in the Bush v. Gore. You know, during, our, during the hand recount for Rossi and Gregoire, we had a big dispute over how much of the bubble do you need to fill in for it to be counted as a vote. It's consistent throughout the whole ballot. Four days before Christmas, the manual count was finished. Gregoire was now ahead by eight votes. It turned out those weren't all the votes. Enter King County Councilman Larry Phillips, whose legitimate legal ballot ended up in a pile of 561 other ballots rejected in error. King County elections didn't have his signature on file. And my vote was never disqualified. It's not a new vote, it's not a provisional vote, it's a vote that has yet to be counted. A search for more ballots ensued, and King County election workers found more. 723 ballots were either uncounted or rejected in error. Other ballots were found in other counties, including Snohomish, some under a mail tray. It is too late in the game for them to decide that more scrutiny needs to be brought to bear on these ballots. Should these votes now be counted? A Pierce County Superior Court said no. Then the following day, the Supreme Court allowed hundreds of those votes to be counted, and Gregoire's lead then stood at 130. It felt fraudulent. It wasn't, but it felt fraudulent to a lot of Republicans 
that they kept finding more ballots in King County. Free vote, free vote. Protests were building. The state was divided. Gregoire was heading toward inauguration. All rise. But there was another important card to play in a Chelan County courtroom, a county that had voted strongly for Rossi. It's taking 